What is going on guys? I am KJOS and it is that time of the year when we have a new version of Android and all the fun stuff and tweaks that come with it. This is Android 13 and it's not a whole redesign or overhaul. Over the years now, I have seen a lot of visual changes to Android, but this time Google is just going under the hood to fine tune and tweak a little bit here and there to make the overall Android experience a lot more seamless and enjoyable. So in this video, I'm going to be going over my top five changes slash new features in order of importance. Now, of course, the timeline for when you get this update is going to depend on what phone you're using. If you have a Pixel device, you should be able to update your phone earlier than others. But when you do get it though, this is what to expect. Number five is the fingerprint reader. Now, since the Pixel 6 was released, the biggest problem with it, apart from other underlying issues, was the fingerprint reader. Now, it was honestly a mess, a big mess, and was very inconsistent, especially when trying to unlock your phone. Now, sometimes it worked, other times you had to press it down real hard for it to work. Now with Android 13, I can say Google has fixed these issues. Now it's now a lot more faster, a lot more responsive to your finger. Now with Android 12, it had vibration feedback when trying to unlock your phone. And that in my opinion was one of the few reasons it was not as responsive as it should be. But on Android 13, the vibration feedback has been removed, allowing for better access. They also added a few visual changes when setting it up. Now, when registering your fingerprint on the Pixel 6, a new enrollment setup interface is now present with an animated GIF to show you which area your thumb or finger should be placed on the optical fingerprint scanner throughout the setup. Honestly, I'm just glad that this has been fixed. So then, number four is privacy. Some may think privacy and Google in the same sentence is kind of ridiculous, but from Android 12 last year, they gave us a considerable amount of control when it came to our privacy. For instance, adding indicators to the top right corner that lets us know when an app is using the microphone or the cameras, as well as easily revoking access to that app if we decided to change our minds. This year with Android 13, they combined the security and privacy menu in one place to fuse an on-device and account security settings. It has color-coded safety status indicators and prompts to remove applications that are described as insecure and potentially harmful to your phone, letting you the user to uninstall the app right there in the menu. Like I said, Google has given us control over our privacy on our smartphones, and I think it's pretty awesome. Number three, wallpaper and style changes. With Material U, they added accent colors to the entire phone's UI according to the color of your wallpaper. With Android 12, you only had about four to five different accent colors to choose from. With Android 13, they went big and added 16. Yes, 16 different color options to choose from with at least seven single tone colors along with nine dual tone options to apply to your wallpaper. Honestly, I wish they added a darker color to a darker wallpaper, but I guess that goes against Google's current design language for Material U. Either way, I'm pretty happy with these visual changes because I change my wallpaper a lot of the time and change my color theme a lot, so it's great to have options to choose from. Like they say, change your wallpaper, change your life. Number two, per app language controls. Google is now making it easier for bilingual Android users to set their apps to their preferred language without changing the system-wide language of their phone with a dope per language option. This feature allows you to dive into your settings or app settings, and if an app supports that language or dialect, then you can just set that option to work upon launching the app at any time. And this can be made on an app by app basis, so you don't have to make changes over and over again if you want a different language or dialect. As I said, it does work with apps that support it, and so far only default apps or Google apps support this feature, and hopefully as Android 13 continues to grow, other third-party apps will support this. And that brings me to number one, the different changes or the different UI changes within Android 13. Now, of course, Google did not give a total revamp, but they added a few changes here and there that are visually pleasing. Like the new redesigned media plane notification, for instance. The new UI shuffles the design as a whole, making the left and right skip button a lot more prominent, with the track scrubber also available. Album art has also seen a redesign reminiscent of how it was on Android 13, and I love this little change. Now, I am a music person, and to see my album art is one of life's little satisfactions. 
Another UI change is on the lock screen. If you have many notifications, you will notice alerts have been cut to help reduce information overload with a shutter pill that will show all icons within. Now within the notification bar, they have removed the power button, settings and edit icon, bringing the settings and power button icon to the bottom and moving that little edit button to the right, giving it a more cleaner look. All this material use stuff is mainly for the Pixel phones. The whole Android 13 experience is just the way Google wants their phones to be and feel like. So when you get your phone, either it be a Samsung phone, a Techno phone, or even OnePlus, it might be different in terms of aesthetics, but a lot of those main features that I talked about would be there. But are you a fan of the new Android 13 changes? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, click that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'm KJ Awas, and I'll catch you guys in the next one where I talk all things tech. But they want my life to end, but they'll do what they from me. So tell me why good if you have a sin. My mama pray for me. How then do fit to